we're going to do a quick demonstration on our small handheld steamers. Um, on this type of device, there is a, a little water tank to fill up. It's very important on whatever steamer you're using that you ensure the water is filled. If you run a steamer while the water's empty, it's just like an iron, you'll burn out the heat and cylinders inside. So whatever device you're doing, top up with water and then turn on until it gets to its heat. So this one's been on for about 30 seconds and the red light there is 10 minutes on. So to start steaming, I just press and hold that button and you'll see the steam comes out straight away because it's already preheated. It gets very hot at the front, so don't touch the front. Um, most curtains you'll come across will have vertical um, seam lines in where they've been packaged after they've been pressed in the um, workroom and you'll also often have some uh, scrunches where it's been held incorrectly or just in transit where the edges have been crushed. So to steam these out, um, the best thing to do when you're working on a curtain or a fabric that you're not familiar with is to start on a bottom corner of the fabric, give it a little steam just to make sure that it doesn't impact on the fabric. We know that this fabric's okay because we have tested it already. So I'm just going to hold it, start off a little bit away from the curtain um, just to see how the fabric reacts. Some of them steam out very easily and the, the drops will drop out straight away from the fabric. It kind of depends on the makeup and composition of the material. If nothing's happening, just take it a little bit closer to the fabric itself until you start to see the creases drop out of the fabric. And you will see, so already the horizontal crease there has come out already. The deeper creases that have been crunched into the fabric take a little bit longer. So it's important not to do too much in one spot at the same time and keep the crease moving. So I'm going to start moving along now along that horizontal crease and you'll see it dropping out. You don't want to do too much in one time. If you over steam a curtain, you do risk um, extending the drop as the curtain stretches as it gets too hot. So it is really important that you only steam it just as much as necessary and not too much.